Hey guys, guys welcome, welcome back, back to our channel. Video. Is it cool. Video? <laughs> I don't think it matters. It don't matter. <laughs> Today's video, we've been inspired by Freshly Grounded. Freshly Grounded. So if you don't know who Freshly Grounded are, what they are, they're basically this YouTube channel and they have their own podcast um, and they've also come out now with their game. Um, this is actually the Ramadan edition. They have like a, a standard edition, but I think my brother's lost those. So we have the Ramadan edition. Um, and what they are, they're just like a bunch of cards and they have really deep, meaningful questions on them. And they're meant to be used for getting to like know someone better or like developing like a deeper connection with someone or just like having conversations that you wouldn't necessarily have on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm. Um, so me and Fats are going to go through some of the cards and just going to ask each other and yeah, we're going to like get to know each other I, better. I saw this question, I was like, I just need to answer it. Okay, describe your relationship with Riss. Really? I don't know why firstly, I don't know why you were so eager to ask me this question. Why? Because I don't think you're a risk taker. You're not. You're the safest person I know. Do you think you're a risk taker? Like yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say like I'm a really risky person. But I don't think I've had the opportunity to delve into risk like that. Do you know what I mean? What? You don't think so? As in like it's, I don't, like, I don't know if that's... I wouldn't say I'm scared of it. I'm just not generally confronted with much of it. You are. But then you don't, you're not confronted with it what because do you, you don't take it. Like, she probably has some a whole theory in her head that's probably so wrong because I don't know what she's talking about. Explain to me, no. what, you, explain to me what you want me to say. Because I know she has, <laughs> what, I, don't. I know you have your thinking of something. I really don't know what we're talking about. about <laughs> doing. No, no, oh, that, okay. that's not obvious. But like, no, for example. Oh, see, she's going to talk about what it is. I am. Guys, this is just some Bear side venture we've had on the side for so long. But like, we're going to talk about it very about briefly. It. Let's talk about that. It's a business. There's obviously going to be risk involved. Like, it's life. Do you know what I mean? 100%. If you lose a bit of money, it's not that deep. Money comes and goes. You're scared. Babes, You're scared. we have just nothing. Just delve in. Babes, delve into what? Delve. Go with your Tell husband. me what you want us to delve into because we, had we don't have, it's rooms. not babes, we, we, we have the funds. We don't have the funds to take the risk. If we, we had the funds to babes, take the risk, do. where? It's not about babes, that wasn't necessarily about risk. That was literally about whether or not we could do something. And at that point, we couldn't do it because we didn't have the funds. So it's not... Like we didn't, if we had the funds, no, that, I don't agree. we didn't have the funds. That was we literally... We could have got the, the funds. From where? But you were just, you were scared from of where? Like, from, like, we're not going to do her Ayurta. Babe, I'm not going to put you. That's not about risk. That's about... <laughs> that's that, No, that's not... That's about taking your whole sit life savings. Babe. <laughs> and <laughs> take it. Life and, like, just... I, I, I can't do that because it's not, like, my own money. So I wouldn't feel comfortable just taking your whole Ayurta saving. I can't do that to you, but, And I'm <laughs> not going to do that, that to you. That's too funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's a sum money word. Smaller things, yeah, I'll take a risk. It's not that deep. But when it comes to... Even small things. What small things have you taken risk with? <laughs> Getting a different flavor crisp from my usual again. Oh. <laughs> I might not like it, but I'll risk okay. taking. I'll take okay. that risk, you know, because I might like it. But wait, you know, like the most successful people in the world. Do, yeah. you, do you know they were risk takers? Yeah, you have to. No, with risk, you have to have a good balance, and you have to take calculated risk. It's not about calculated taking. Risk. You have to. Yeah, if you're going to take right. risk, they have to be calculated. I and I that. think I would. I think I. I'm quite a calculated yeah. person when it comes okay. to taking risk. I'm not just like haphazardly doing madnesses. You know what I mean? Okay, what do you need to be more balanced in? I either go like very deep, and I just want to study the dean 100%. Put put all my energy into it. Which must all was beautiful, but then I forget about real life. But then when I'm focusing on real life, I just my dean just lets go, and I need to find a way to like just stay balanced yeah. so it's sustainable because like, obviously Iman fluctuates but like, I just want to be at a place where like I'm where I don't I think everyone gets it yeah no 100% but then I think you should definitely prioritize dean, the dean so like I feel like even if you're doing bad dean dean no, dean I'm no do you know the kind of person I am though what? dean 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 means dean 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 <laughs> As in like, when I was in uni, I was just like, why am I here? Why am I wasting my time studying history when I don't even know Arabic in the Quran? Like, it's just, I need to tell okay, myself so you like... you go to the extremes type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, But I'm working on it, it's cool. But Are like, you actually working I'm on it? I am. Really? Yeah. I think, yeah, like, yeah. In my own way. How are you working on it? <laughs> Do you really want to know? Just a short summary. Just, okay. <laughs> short summary. Right now, I'm just making sure that... I'm doing the bare minimum, not even, before I wasn't doing the bare minimum and I was out here doing this, this, that, 
<laughs> but now I'm doing the bare minimum, like making sure that my five prayers are on, on fleek, and making yeah. sure that I do something kind every day, making sure I give my charity, like the simple, simple. What did like, you do kind today, Fats? What was your kind? What was your what kind? What was my kind act like, today? Kind oh, I helped my mum. No, <laughs> no, that's not a kind act. What an not inspiration, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> not even. So, yeah. What change can you implement this year? I need to become more disciplined in life. Is, uh, expand on that. So obviously we all know motivation isn't what you need, it's discipline um, and I lack discipline severely and I think I need to really instill that somehow into my everyday life because because I don't have it, it's not here. Okay. It's there in some aspects but like in many other aspects it's not there. I've got more questions for you now that stem from this question but that's not how the game works. I don't know but please. That's really <laughs> so you said you need works. to implement changes yeah this yeah. change of being more disciplined. So what are you doing to make it happen? Yeah that's a good question but we're gonna um, implement it. Okay <laughs> but how? I don't know how like how do you become more disciplined? You just have to literally just be like is this what you want your life to be? Do you keep wanting do, do you like how long are you gonna just live on this path for? Oh. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you just have to give yourself a reality, a wake up, basically. And I think I've already had that wake up. Okay, sick. Because I'm old now. Should we ask, like, a light, a light hearted one? Go on. Oh, no, I like this one. What lesson did you get from yesterday? Oh, from yesterday? What was it yesterday? I don't know. It was Saturday, innit? Yeah. No, it's, it was, was it Saturday? Saturday. So I guess this is just kind of like from everyday life. Like, what did you learn from, like, yesterday? You learn everything. You learn something new every day, innit? Apparently. It? Did you have, like, a mini enlightenment? Yeah, moment. I have I've done moments every day, but yesterday I had a, I had a chat with myself. The pain of the pain, the pain of hard work is better than the pain of regret. And that it was eleven o'clock. I kid you not, and I went to my garden and I done a workout because you know what? Right, I was slacking. And I, why am I slacking? Why are you slacking? And it's like why? just that's the lesson I got. I like that. What was your favorite childhood snack? Guys, when I was a child, and still now, I really, it may not seem like it, but I loved food. Like, my mum and dad would tell you, the first thing I would speak about when I came back from someone's house, or when we went to a gathering or event, would be the food. I would tell them what we ate, and how much I liked it, if it was good, if it wasn't good. So I had, I probably had a lot of childhood, favourite favorite childhood snacks. Like, I did used to love Nutella, like, a Nutella sandwich was definitely, definitely up there. We had those a lot, and we also, oh my god. Okay, now it's all coming back to me. We also used to have, um, they still have them now. Do you know Mars milkshakes? Like you get them from like the corner shops. We used to love, me and my sister and my brother, we used to love Mars milkshakes. Oh, okay. I don't know why. I um, used to love, um, I used to love prawn and cocktail crisps and I still do. Yeah. Um, I can go on to be fair. There's quite a few crisps in general. Guys, oh my god, you get me thinking about all my childhood crisps and like how a lot of them have become discontinued and it's so sad. Does anybody remember? They're called, I think they're called like wheat tea, what are they called? They're tubular shapes, so um, they have them out now but they only have the bacon flavour. Back in the day, you they used to have this tomato flavour. I, I know it sounds gross, but on my life, if you know what I'm talking about, they're called like wheat teas or like, you, do you know what I'm talking about, that? Oh, I think they're called wheat teas. They were the best crisps to grace this planet Earth. And now they're discontinued. Okay. My question to Fatima. Oh, oh, this is a good one. When was the last time you gave yourself permission to switch off? Oh, this weekend, Friday as well was Aisha's birthday. I felt a bit guilty, but I switched off. I told myself I'm gonna have fun, and I did. Guys, I'm actually. It's and I got a miracle up. that she ended up coming because usually she last minute she'll be like, I'm so. She guys. Not okay. even. Sorry to cut your question off. I know I'm talking over you. We'll have days arranged where we're meant to do certain things. We're meant to go out. We're meant to blah blah. That's not true. Moves, okay. The day of or the night before, I'll get a voice note from Fats, okay. And this is exactly how it'll be. I should I don't so be sad. mad. I should don't be pissed off. I should, I'm really sorry. And I'm as so soon sorry. as I hear the first one second, I already know what she's gonna say. <laughs> don't kill me. No. I should don't kill me. And like, That's as soon cute. as I hear that, I just want to switch off the phone and enter voice note. No, you gotta prioritize the mental health. You don't. Otherwise, one week down the line, I'm gonna be. No, you say yes. You're you're the first Do one I in fact. Yes. You're the first one in the group chat to be like, I'm down, guys, yeah. She'll fit, guys. Oh my god, one time, let me tell you, let me tell you. One time, fat pan, a whole motive, yeah. This was how oh, I no, did Oh no, that's different. Thought park, that's okay? different. Did I? It was a thought park. Where no, do you know why I've done it? No, no, no okay, no, there's a reason. She planned a whole motive to thought park, guys. It was her idea. It was a go ape. No, it was a go ape. Guys, oh, she that planned one. a whole motive to go to go ape, okay? Everything was on her, of her own accord. I did really want to go. The day before. 
Not that they. No, so do you know what happened? Guys. This is what I happened. Everyone it, I can't come. This, no, do you know why? I know it's because of. I only told them on the morning that I couldn't come because my cousin said to me, "If you don't go, then I'm not going." So obviously that's rude. Like, why am I going to ruin a trip for everyone when they were all excited? So. I basically, so she I didn't even think she I told everyone lies. No, not even. Mm. I just didn't say anything because, like, that's that's dead. Oh, like, she didn't even tell us. And no, the Thought Park one. Someone told me to make that motive happen because they just wanted to chill with some people. So obviously, who told you to make the motive happen? I'm a people person. I make things happen. Do you know what I mean? But like, doesn't mean have to be there. Like, like, this question: What do you need to say no to? That's it. I need to say no to when people ask me to go out with them. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to go out with you, or I can't go out with you. I have better things to do. I need to prioritise. Get them done. I need yeah. to get things done, and I can't be going out with you. But so Aisha's friend, stop, stop making her fall behind, right? You, you're hearing it now, okay? Unless it's some, <laughs> unless it's your birthday. To be fair, facts, I've actually stopped going out. Like I used to go out like every single day. I don't do that anymore because I just I don't want to and I can't be bothered. Well done. No, honestly, like I haven't got, I don't go out much anymore. Do you not? Not really. Do you actually not? Guys, like, honestly, I used to have this disease where I had to go out every single day because I just yeah. couldn't be at home. Like, <laughs> be... I just got, I get bored very easily, so I literally have to be out often. But now I'm, I'm happy to just not go out. I started this journey of just doing things on my own, and I was oh, really enjoying oh, yeah. it. I haven't, haven't done it in a while though. Like, I started to go out places or like go to events by myself. Um, I even started to go to the gym by myself. It didn't last long. Though, that, that, that was a big deal. That was a big deal. I should never go to the gym. I can never myself. go to the gym by myself. I always have to go with fats, otherwise I won't go. But then I was like, I can't fats were just flopping me too many times. I was like, yeah, I need I was, to go I to the gym. I've been unreliable this past month. But anyway, yeah, and then I've realised like it's actually a vibe. Because I always used to think of, look yeah. at people and be like, Wow, how can you do that by yourself? How can you go there by yourself? And then I did it and I was like, you know what? It's actually it's, a vibe. it's quite like, yeah, it's, it was quite enjoyable and I wasn't just forcing it, like I genuinely enjoyed it. What makes me different? That's easy. I already know. It's what? what I like about you. So basically, what makes Aisha different? Just so many things there. Yeah. But one thing that, like, I just admire her so much for it is, you know, like, the floating thing. Like, she's just you so, admire like... me for being a floater. I admire you, babe. As in, you're just... I you don't, don't let pressure get to you, like... I do. You don't. I crumble under pressure, like... She doesn't know No, no, wait, no, no. <laughs> No, like, as in number one, she's really calm. <laughs> number two, like, I can't explain it. It just makes you different, and it's it's nice. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's just like in this rat race, but you're not. You're just in your own lane. Like, do you know what I mean? Do you actually know? I kind of want to be in the rat race, though. I feel like I need to do you join the be rat in the... race. It's no, time. it's good that you're not. Like, Is it's it? refreshing. It's like, why, why am I stressing? It makes me look at myself and tells me to calm down. No, because I need to start. So I need. I told you, facts. I need that pressure on me. Do you, be honest. Do you think I struggle showing love? Do you know what's quite difficult about this? Is because <clears throat> I, I would say myself and facts, we're not necessarily like super loving or affectionate people but i would say you're definitely more affectionate i wouldn't say you're more loving but you're definitely more affectionate and she is oh. she gives the illusion is it affection and love the same no like, she oh. definitely gives the illusion that she shows love and she's you know really loving oh. and caring but i wouldn't necessarily say she <laughs> is <laughs> but she, she gives the illusion of it so you'll think that she's bare loving and affectionate. That's a bit evil. But she's, no, no, it's not evil. An, no, it's good. It's good because it's nice to make people feel like loved and affectionate. Oh. So, like for me, I don't think that needs to be any more loving or affectionate. So I don't think you struggle in that sense because okay. you're probably better than me. But I, I know you don't actually love. Yeah. That I don't think she loves. That's me. mad. You so definitely told me bare stuff. How you just don't care about people. <laughs> I care. What do you mean? No. When did I? Do you know how I mean that sounds? Like you told me that. Take that back. If most people were to die or like to leave your life, you wouldn't cry over them. I, yeah, I wouldn't. I don't think I would. Be, she said she'd be happy. I, I would be happy because I think they're chilling in heaven. Do you know That's what I mean? Cute, yeah. Not because, not because I don't care about them, but because I know they're living their best life up above. Yeah. So like, oh, okay. Wow. So do you struggle to show love? I don't think you do. At the end of the day, I don't think you should be loving that many people. Should you love yeah, that many people? Yeah, I think so. But Oh no, you shouldn't. But you should be a loving person. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get you are, you're, right, no, you're definitely a loving, loving person. You're okay. a loving person. Oh, this is a cute one to end. Nice, light-hearted one. Tell me one beautiful thing about your culture. Oh, is it? Oh, guys, I went to my first ever Somali wedding like a few weeks ago. Oh yeah. Oh. It was really fun. Wait. Oh. It was really different from obviously like a typical Asian wedding, but it was really it was lit. Can't lie. Oh, is it? So that's yeah. So yeah. What's one? Oh, my family wedding. Yeah, it was her family. Okay. I love 
I love the vibe. One thing, perhaps the vibe. The vibe. The vibe. Explain. The vibe. Like, it's just a vibe. Do you know, like, no, okay, do you know how I can explain it? Oh my god, I love it. Do you know, like, when, when we come back from a wedding? Yeah. And it, like, so basically, we have this system where, like, it's a taxi driver, but he goes around, like, everyone's house. So, like, I've just been, like, a car with, like, these nine Somali, eight Somali women. Yeah. And they're just, like, shouting down the car. But, like, it's a vibe. Like, what do you mean they're shouting they, down the car? They're not just, do you know, like, Somali, like, they in my family, we're like, all loud. No, yeah. no, no, not, it's not a raid. They're just oh, bare chatting. Just bare talking. Oh. And it's just, like, they talk about 20 yeah. topics in the space of, like, 15 minutes and it's just so fast paced and I just love it and I'm just there like listening Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching another video of us waffling Hopefully you like can answer these questions yourself and and like And we'll definitely do another because there's way more cars left Yeah, we'll do like a second episode yeah. because it was quite fun to actually answer these questions not gonna lie Thanks Freshly Grounded for these cars, not that they gave them to me, I had to buy them with my own money <laughs> But um, yeah, see you in the next video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and comment below Bye!